everybody, Michael Espinoza here. Um, I just want to thank you all first so much for all of your donations, all of your shares, all of that everything here, because thanks to all of the work you guys did for me, all of the kindness, the giving, we have the Braille Note. We have the Braille Note Touch. I still, it feels weird to say it out loud, like it's not even real. We have the Braille Note Touch, and I wanted to unbox it here where you all could see it, and, um, you know, let you kind of see what you paid for. And also, I wanted to take the time to do as close to an in-person thank you as I could, since I, unfortunately, I can't track each and every one of you down, come to your workplaces, and sing you a heavy metal thank you serenade. But don't tempt me because I might. Um, I just wanted to go ahead and get this thing unboxed, have you all have a look at it, and just tell you all thank you so much. I really can't express my gratitude enough. It's because of you all that I'm going to be able to keep doing the work I love and keep enjoying the hobbies that I love. And at a price point that was just unattainable on my own, we got there. And that's so awesome. Thank you guys so much. Um, Wow, if I, if I can ever do anything to repay the kindness, I definitely will, whatever it takes. Um, I appreciate y'all a whole lot. Thank you. And without further ado, let's get this thing moved over to my desk and do a proper unboxing, shall we? Okay. All right, so let's have a look at what we've got here, everybody. Um, so we've got the Braille Note Touch. Um, this is the box right here. Enjoy. That is a box. Uh, let's go ahead and get that open and uh, see what we have inside. Hopefully it's a braille note. Okay, so nice easy lift off lid. Uh, we've got some instructions here. Um, useful printed instructions, awesome. That's great, I, I am gonna read the crap out of these printed instructions. Okay, I, I'll get to go ahead and take back the, 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 the Sarcasm here because they also brailed the instructions. Okay, can't be sarcastic anymore. Sorry humanware. Take it back Not all of it, but most of it I take back. Okay Let's see. So we got some padding here. Some nice thick padding for safety for science um, Ooh, Here's uh, the shoulder strap that'll be adhered to the case eventually um, we got a USB charger adapter. Notice how it's a lot like a, a cell phone wall adapter rather than what the Braille Note used to have, which is like one of those archaic power bricks. Um, okay, we got a couple other wires in here. It looks like a set of headphones. Oh, yay, earbuds! Awesome! A little bit sarcastic, but no, I'm, 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 I only say that because I don't really use those kind of earbuds, but I have a ton of awesome headphones, and it's going to be super great. I'm just being silly. Uh, oh, awesome, a really long USB charging cable. That is really good, because I tend to use these things so much that I need to be charging them, like, while I'm using them still, and it's good length. And a cloth, I assume, for screen cleaning, probably? Mm -hmm. Screen cleaning. like microfiber. Ooh, it does look like microfiber. Nice. It's all soft and micro mm -hmm. and fibery. Mm -hmm. Okay, awesome. So we got all of that and neatly disorganized. Now let's look at the Braille Note itself. I am so good with things. Okay, here. All right, and in its case right now, we have, let me get this box closed as a kind of a platform for it. Here we have the case of the Braille Note Touch. That is probably upside down. Here we have the case of the Braille Note Touch. Actually, you had it right the first time. Here we have the case of the Braille Note Touch. Yes. Yeah, that's not embarrassing. Okay, let me, uh, I'm going to move this off screen real quick while I get this box uh, kind of closed up so I can use it as a platform. Um, right now it was kind of like flapping open still. It wasn't designed as a platform, so don't worry, human wear, I don't hold that against you. Um, other things, yes, this, no. Um, so yeah, here we have the Braille Note. Uh, wow, <laughs> I'm going to open it. I don't even know what to expect when I open this. I'm so used to, uh, I wonder if I should get out my other braille note real quick and, like, do a side-by-side. -side. Go for it. Like the apex? Okay, cool, keep it rolling. Hang on, I'm gonna go grab the apex. It's right here, everyone, don't worry. I'll be back. Here it is. Okay, so this is <clears throat> the braille note apex. Here's the case versus the touch, which you saw earlier. I'm gonna go and flip this open. Uh, there we go. That is the apex. You've got your display. You got uh, uh, cursor routing keys, the primary typing keys, 
uh, two little speakers and a scroll wheel that I had to turn off because it, um, you know, stopped being good to me. Um, it was just scrolling of its own volition. Uh, and then you have thumb keys along the front, just the four essential, pretty much the only four thumb keys you'll ever need. I can't imagine them putting more on the front because that's about all you'd need. Um, yeah, so that's the, uh, that's the Apex. Uh, let's give a look now to the uh, machine of the hour, the Braille Note Touch. Um, how in the heck do I open this? Okay, it's got magnetic flaps. This is cool, it's got magnetic flaps, flaps, flaps on the side. I'm doing this all in one take, people, to keep it genuine, so we're keeping flaps is staying in. Uh, there are some ports here. Oh, I think I hit a button. Uh, there are some ports here along the side um, that are covered by the, 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 the flaps, the flaps. Um, and here is another uh, set of uh, ports right here, and, uh, or another set of button that looks like there's a headphone jack. Uh, maybe a power button. I'll have to look into that. Um, on the bottom, I think that might be, I don't know what this is down here, but we've got some like interesting design out. Like, I, I don't know if that's like just holes for the sake of holes or if that's actually something functional. But yeah, that's that. Um, so yeah, let's, uh, let me, uh, it looks like this, I don't know if the Velcro is what I opened. No, that just looks like it's a pouch. Where does the Oh, there it is. Okay, so the way to open it is there's um, the, this magnetic part on the bottom here. I'm just going to go ahead and lift that off. And what I usually do with these things is I fold the magnetic part back and under, and it usually clips neatly in place under there. And this is the Braille Note Touch. Honestly, I haven't explored it much with my hands yet, so y'all are getting first look at it before I even do. Um, there you go. That's This is it. Here's the front. Um, oh, they added more keys to the front. That's <laughs> awesome. Cool, okay, uh, once again, proving me wrong for assuming, and it looked like they spaced the thumb keys a lot better, made them practical sized instead of gigantic like they used to be, which made room for uh, some little keys right here, which I don't even know what they're for yet, which is freaking cool. Uh, we got a, a traditional braille keyboard right here. Now what's cool about this, you see you got your keys right here, pretty traditional braille keys. Now what's cool about these is it's my understanding that you can do this. Look at that! It's a freaking tablet! <laughs> I didn't even know if I was going to do it right or not. Um, I'm going to have to figure out how to incorporate that into the case better so it's not just like hanging off the back here where it could easily get snapped off or damaged. Um, but <laughs> it's a tablet. It's a freaking tablet under this thing. Look at that. <laughs> it's so cool. I mean, I knew there was a tablet under this. I did. But come on, this is so cool. <laughs> yeah, so uh, let's go ahead and uh, we're going to go ahead and cut here for a second. I'll get this thing fired up and maybe we can do a little over the shoulder action or something and have a look at what this thing's going to look like when we get the screen powered on. All right, let's do it. All right, so we are on the Braille Notes main menu now. I'm just browsing around, looking at all the settings. I'm glad I didn't make you guys sit through all that. It was not short. Um, okay, anyway, um, so this is the device, guys. I got email. I got my internet again. I got a word processor where I do all my writing of things. In fact, let's, let's see what it's like if I open up a document. Yeah, this is cool. Okay, I guess this is a document. Now I've got a document here I can type in. Uh, let's see how this works. Um, capital G. Cool, so I can type. Capital G deleted. End of, doc oh. end of document. Capital E circumflex. I guess that's how I do capital accented e characters. Deleted. Capital E circumflex. Capital, capital E circumflex. Okay, capital so I've got e a... Circumflex deleted. So using this touch screen is a little tricky. You've got to get used to where your fingers are going to be relative to the um to each other and that takes some getting used to and so i'm going to do something like this and then i hit let's see is it h i i e v e r y o n e six oh whoops that was a six deleted exclamation mark there we go everyone comma comma deleted i I L L V E T A I S N E W B R A I L L E T V I C six. Oh, whoops! Didn't mean to do that. Six delete exclamation mark. Okay, so obviously I didn't do any punctual or any capitalization or anything right now because uh, 
it was, uh, I've got to figure out, um, kind of learning the new computer braille is a little tricky and it's just going to take some getting used to. Luckily I still have a physical keyboard, which is nice. Um, but what I've got here, it says, uh, I don't know if y'all can read it, but it should say, hi everyone. I love this new braille device. And um, if that's not visible, then y'all can still know it. I love this new Braille device. Thank you all so, so much. I really appreciate it. Ah, wow, I just, I can't even vocalize my gratitude clearly enough. Just thank you so much. This is what I need to keep me doing what I need to be doing. Writing, helping other people with writing bugging you all on Facebook, you know. Anyway, thank you so much, everybody. Y'all are the best, and I really appreciate it. So have a good one. Um, hope to hear from you all very soon. I'll keep writing, I'll keep posting, and I will find some way to thank you all. So until then, farewell.